Right here we have the Chroma plugin for Unreal 4. I'll show you how to import the plugin into your Unreal 4 project. So first let's start with the Epic Games Launcher and you can have your various versions. I'll do a 4.16. So if we launch the Unreal Editor 4.16 and if you look at the project page here, if we go to releases, here you can find the pre-compiled libraries for your particular Unreal version. So since I'm doing 4.16, here's the 4.16 plugin. Okay, and here's the project browser. Let's do a new project, and I'll just do a blueprint project. Either a project type works, C++ or blueprint. And here I'll put in the demo Unreal 4, and this will be for 4.16. Okay. Uh, and I'll just do no starter content, desktop version, and create the empty project. Okay, so here we have a new project. If I go find the project on disk, here we are. And in the project folder, I'll need a new plugins folder. Okay, I'll just copy this path. Uh, if we go back to the GitHub page, I can download the pre-compiled modules. Okay, and I'll just save the zip file to the plugins folder. Okay, so here we have the zip file. And you can just drop this into the plugins folder. There we go. So the important files are in your project folder, plugins, and then it drops right in there. And then after you unpack the files, just reopen the project. Okay, so we're done with the zip file now. Okay, and now if we switch over to the Unreal, we need to close it to reopen the project. Okay, and then I can double click it from the launcher and that should load the module. Okay, here we go, here's the project. And if we go to Edit, Plugins, if I scroll to the bottom to Other, there's the Chroma SDK plugin, so the modules have loaded. There's a Runtime module and an Editor module. And that should allow for creating new miscellaneous Chroma animations. So I'll do a keyboard animation. This will be a keyboard animation. Okay, let's show the emulator here. And I can click, right click the animation file, edit. Here we have a custom details page. Okay, so you can fill your palette with colors and then just click on the colors and paint your grid. All right, and if I preview, I can see that the plugin is working. Okay, so you can see the Chroma SDK module is loaded and the editor is functional. And that's how you import the Chroma plugin for Unreal into your projects. And thanks for watching.